You mentioned trying to go to four wheels, doing something that people didn't expect as your exit from Supercross. You know, and you retired in 2006. There yeah. have been some bad accidents right around that time. Mm -hmm. How much did, you know, the overall going out on your own terms play into leaving motorcycles? I had a plan as to when I wanted to exit motorcycle racing. And um, I knew as I was negotiating my final three year deal, which would have been 2005, six and seven, I knew how I felt mentally when I was doing that contract of how many more years I had left in me. No matter what, I wasn't gonna go any longer than that hmm. and probably no shorter than that. In fact, if I, if, uh, the reason for 2004 and why I, w I went 2005, 2006 and left 2007 as an option year is because I, you know, that break I got, otherwise it just would have been 2005, 2006. So that 2004 gave me that uh, option for 2007. But um, I knew three years prior of when I was retiring. Hmm. Yeah, I just, I, I had a great I had a great feel mentally of where I was going to be um, and how much more I had to give mentally and how much more I had to give physically. And that was it. Yeah. Once you made that decision, yeah, there was once, no looking back? Once I made that decision, um, and it, I made my decision and I moved on. I never second guessed it. I never thought, man, maybe I should go another, another couple of years. Never once. And I went out on my own terms. I, every, everything was planned out. Like I said, three years prior, um, when I was doing that final deal with Suzuki, I was negotiating with Honda and Suzuki and ended up obviously going with Suzuki. But yeah, that was, that was all planned and it was under my terms and this is the program that I wanted to have. in 2007 probably could have won the championship yeah you ever look and be like oh maybe i just should have run a full schedule looking back on 2007 this is what i think like probably could have won the championship um of course the weekend that i the, that i stopped racing then the next weekend james stewart gets hurt the next week he doesn't show up but then i always go back to well if i would have kept racing he wouldn't have gotten hurt and it just would have been it would have been uh a long drawn out season. Um, I was I was just happy with what I, I accomplished. So this is another key thing that I was thinking about when I was doing that contract, that three year contract. I'm like, okay, if I could just get this championship, if I could just get this championship and do these hit hit these benchmarks, then I'm good. I, there's no reason for me to keep on racing anymore. And I was able to do that. I wanted to win a Supercross, another Supercross championship. I wanted to win a Supercross championship on a four stroke. I'm like, what, what the hell else am I gonna do? <laughs> you know, the rest is just icing on the cake. And I had those, 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 you know, boxes that I needed to check off and I did that. And so there was really no incentive for me to go on other than money, but at the, at the same time, you know, Ryan Villapoto and I were talking about it, what we walked away from probably if we would have raced two more years, and would it change our life? And w w how much of walking away would, how much did that impact the life that we're living now? And you look back, it wouldn't have impacted my life much at all. In fact, I probably would have been more unhappy um, than what the money would have been uh, mm -hmm. at the time. And it was good money. It was good money. We walked away from a lot, but um, you know, uh, there's no amount of money worth your safety and happiness. <laughs>